How much money do you need to be happy in life? In this video, I'm going to give you my raw, unfiltered thoughts on this topic, okay? And I think I'm a good person to talk to about this because I actually have an educated opinion because I actually have enough money to do whatever I want. I can go anywhere I want. I could fly business class. I can do whatever. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just saying I'm not some guy who makes like $2,000 a month and I say, Money doesn't buy happiness at all. It's like, bro, then why don't you make, make some money first, then let's see if your opinion changes. Because typically, when you make more money, the opinion does change, all right? So the short answer here is it really depends on you. It depends on the exact life that you wanna have. Because let's say you're really into skydiving. Like for some reason, skydiving really gets you high, right? So let's say you ideally like to go three times a week. Well, it's expensive to go, I think. Let's say it's $1,000 per jump, right? So that's $12,000 a month just on skydiving. So you need to make a little bit more money than the person who basically likes to live in an igloo in like Nordic Europe or something like that, right? So the number totally depends. Like there, there is no one number, right? So step one to figuring this number out for you is to get a piece of paper or a computer and to actually define and write out the kind of life that you want to be living right now. Now the word right now is very key because in the future it could change, right? But for me, right now in my life, I wanna be traveling around Europe, traveling around the world. I wanna be comfortable. I'm a really bad sleeper, so I always have to be in a penthouse apartment with good AC because if I don't have that, then I can't be comfortable, I can't sleep well. So for me, I need more money than the average person when it comes to rent. Next month, I'm paying $10,000 uh, in rent that month, right? Because that's what I need. I know my own sensitivities. I wanna be present. I wanna be aware. I don't just wanna travel Europe. I wanna travel Europe and be comfortable. Do you see where I'm going with this? You have to figure out the exact life that you wanna live, okay? And you know, for most people who I talk to, right? They kinda want that life. Traveling, maybe not in the penthouse, but traveling, be free, just do what I want, right? If you're currently making not enough money to do that online, then that is a huge problem and it should keep you up awake in bed at night. Because this whole thing of like knowing what you wanna do and then not at least pursuing it or not doing it, that's the thing that breeds poisonous regret when you're older. I know when I'm 90 years old, I can look back on how I'm living my life right now and be like, dude, that was really good. You know, maybe it's not perfect, but like you're getting an A, maybe not an A plus, but you're definitely getting an A. Like you're doing this the right way. Most people can't say that. And that should bother you to your core at a very deep intrinsic level. I'm not exaggerating here, okay? This is very, very important because most people in general, they're completely blind to the consequences of their actions and their decisions or the consequences to their indecision, right? Because I see so many people who are looking up how to make money online and they're watching endless YouTube videos. They're, they're learning about like drop shipping, Amazon, coaching, that's what I do, or the agency world, right? And it's like, you just have to pick one and go with that thing, but you're wasting time because we're all gonna die one day and time is the most valuable asset that any of us have. Because right now this, this video has been almost four minutes long. I am four minutes closer to my death. I don't know when death is. It could be today. I could go outside on my way to the gym, which is where I'm going, hit by a car, dead. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be a week or a year or 10 years or maybe 60 years. I don't know, but that's the point. We don't know when we're gonna die, but we do know we are going to die, which means we have to value our time because it's the only resource that we can't get back, okay? Anyways, bit of a rant there, but when it comes to the amount of money that I need to support the lifestyle that I wanna have, because I know the lifestyle that I wanna have, okay? It's roughly 20,000 Canadian dollars a month, right? Because yeah, rent for me is super expensive, okay? And yeah, I mean, I don't really spend more than like, I don't know, $3,000 a month on like food and health supplements, another thing that I value, right? 
And then there's coaching. There's like, you know, business coaching, life coaching, fitness coaching. That's enough to cover that. So that's it. That's what I need. And I actually make more than that because I also like to invest my money because I'm thinking of the future. It's like, okay, if I invest $30,000 a month into, you know, stocks or crypto or whatever, that will be enough to where I can, you know, have like a five bedroom house on the water in the future someday, right? If I want to go to California or something, which I don't think I want to do, but I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about everything, right? Like most people are totally unconscious. They have no idea what they want. It's ridiculous. Although deep down, you kind of know what you want, but you're pretending that you don't because it's a way of coping with you not being able to live the life you want to live, all right? So I don't think I want to rant too much more here, but in terms of how much money do you need to be happy, you first have to define your life, define the costs associated with living the life you want to live, like tally it up. It's like, okay, travel, you know, uh, $4,000 a year, uh, rent, food, health supplements, coaching, whatever, Netflix, bro, whatever it is. I don't, whatever, man, it's up to you, but get the number. And then you haven't, you're like, okay, this is the number. Great. And it might change later on in life. Maybe it goes up, maybe it goes down, whatever. But you have to have like a freaking number to work towards. And you also, for me, I have to make the money online. I can't be tied to any country. Like for me, when I start hiring people for my business, I'm not going to have an office. Even if it makes me more money, whatever. I'd rather make less money because I know the amount that I need to be happy. And so I can have the freedom. Because I value freedom way more than any amount of money, right? Although freedom acts or money gives you freedom, right? But if you start getting too addicted to it, it kind of does the opposite, all right? Guys, so that's it. Very simple video, but hey, most things in life are actually pretty darn simple. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. If you like this video, let me know because I'm just going to start ranting more like this, all right? Peace.